Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and this is a fold flat um, box, and it's a remake of one of my projects from 2014. And I hadn't realised the project that falls completely flat. I hadn't realised the project was quite so old until I was glancing through the wording of it and the instructions, and it says, and I had my three-year-old son off sick yesterday well my three-year-old is now 10 but this is my original project uh look at that can you see that oh, i hope you can i've got my phone charging there we go and you can see i've got the trail of flowers down it which is why i decided to do a trail of flowers down this now this one is using this was obviously you know an old long retired paper now from 2014 um let's put that there this is using the new free paper that you can get for placing an order that qualifies you for stamping rewards. And we know that there's a massive promotion with that going on right now. So this is the new free paper. And this is, oh, I can't remember the name of the punch. It's that new punch. That one. You see, we've only had the catalogue a short while. I haven't yet committed the names of everything to my memory. But it's using that. So I thought that's a great way to pay homage to this lovely project. So it finishes up two inches by two inches by six inches tall um so 15 centimeters by five by five nice box okay you need a piece of card stock that is eight and a quarter by 11 inches now if you are in america and you work in eight and a half by 11 just use the full sheet you'll find out why afterwards but us everybody else in every other part of the world we have to work with our size which is only eight and a quarter but eight and a quarter by 11 inches 21 by 29 centimeters on the long side score it at half an inch i've just completely jumped that that's okay it's getting hidden half an inch uh two and a half eight and a half and ten and a half which in metric is two seven 22 27 on the short side this is super easy every two inches at two four six and eight so in metric every five centimeters at five ten fifteen and twenty so for those folk who i mentioned before if you're working eight and a half by eleven you're going to have a wider bit to stick your strip on there mine's only a quarter of an inch yours will be eight yours will be half an inch much better okay so this is the new polished pink. I actually don't think that is the pink that's in there. I think that is this one, which is Flirty Flamingo. But, you know, we're going to just roll with it. That's okay. I don't mind. But you can see why I chose it. Almost a rainbow. There's no yellow in there. And there's no purple. But close enough. Just burnish everything. Okay, right, so before you start cutting, you need to establish which is the back. So this is the back of my project, and that's where my seam is going to be. Now, to be fair, it doesn't really matter where your open and close bit goes. It kind of is entirely up to you. So, but whichever way you go, you're going to need to keep three sections together and get rid of one. So I'm going to keep those three and get rid of all of that bit there. So let's get my big scissors out. So literally just get rid of the whole lot and that is going to create that bit there has become this part here. So therefore I need those two outer bits to look like this and to do that you just shave off a little bit there. Do the same here, just shave off a little bit 
and then whack a chop a bit off so that it's not scientifically measured it's just that little bit shorter repeat the same over here it really isn't very much at all I'm taking off as you can see it's just enough so that when you're closing the box that's not very straight do it straighter than that when you're closing the box it just sits in nicer okay and then repeat exactly the same on the opposite side so again whoopsie do you know what I'm going to mitre that while I'm doing it You can tell I'm concentrating, can't you? <sighs> Thinking very hard about the job in hand. Ooh. And that is done. So I'm just going to grab my corner rounder because I want to round these corners off. And then all you need to do then is put your pieces of designer series paper on. Um, and I cut them all the same height before then cutting all of the, the lengths, You're cutting all of the thinner parts. And they measure at five and three quarter inches long by one and three quarter inches wide, that's my seal, which is 14 by four centimeters. And obviously you need four of them because we're on a four sided box. probably could if I concentrated make that pattern repeat properly but I'm not worried <laughs> it's going to be all over the place I should have concentrated oh look that one's going to be in the right place no it's not oh well it's okay I wonder if it's meant to go that way let's just make it so they really don't line up at all And then there can be no doubt about it. Okay, so this is this little tab where a quarter of an inch in quite isn't quite enough, but it's going to do because I'm using tear and tape, which means that I can fold the excess glue, the excess tape over on itself. And it's all good. And that's my little box. So I'm just going to do some decoration. I'm not going to do as much as this, apart from anything, because it's going to make my brain hurt if there's no yellow in it and there's no yellow in the box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these bits. If there's enough, no, there's not. Should I do a completely different colour? What colour have I got? Blushing bride. Have I any blushing bride handy? Nope, every other colour but. I don't know what colours I've got. Here we go. I have got... Oh, that's quite a big piece. I've got my scraps in a drawer next to me. Literally right next to me. Here we go, that's a better size. Yes, we'll have Flirty Flamingo. And... I'm going to have three. Or punch it three times. That's probably too many. We'll see as we get along. Okay, so, oh, just pushing the back of my paper piercer into the centre. Uh, 
and I'm going to grab my opal rounds which I can't see there they are and they've got sort of glittery bits encased inside them and I'm going to take big ones for the big flowers oops and then the slightly smaller ones for the smaller flowers and put those away make them all 3D again And I'm going to finish off my never-ending roll of mini glue dots that just doesn't want to seem to end. <laughs> Seriously, it's been going forever. And I'm going to cluster very slightly differently this time, I think. Oh. And there we go. You can even decorate it before it folds flat. I love it. What a nice remake of a project that is seven years old. Seriously, I couldn't believe it. My three-year-old was off sick yesterday when I was filming this. Mm. Or whatever it was I said in my original blog post. But very nice. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.